All right, cool. I think we should be good. All right. What's up, ladies? And or oh wait, I forgot. I can't. I can't do that in the first minute anymore. Just bleep that, Jason. Okay, the people will have to guess what I said. You're a bitch. So YouTube doesn't like totally just shut down this video. But what's up, guys? Today we're talking about a little bit of a a little bit of a risque subject. I will admit, a little bit of a subject that might be uneasy for some people. So I will say, if like medical ailments or deformities or things like that are something that maybe you have like a personal history with, so it bothers you a little bit more, or like you have any type of you know issue with, then I'd say you might want to kind of skip over this one because today we are going to be talking a little bit about conjoined twins. Connect. However, we're not going to be talking about conjoined twins and their births or their separation, but we're rather going to be talking about what happens when you leave them conjoined and they share a body and they grow up. Like when they go and get in relationships, do they like both get in the same relationship? Do they have separate relationships? Do they like what? What if one person doesn't like the the significant other? Uh, you know, it, do they have just the same genitals? Are they separate genitals? Like all of these questions. Questions I think are, are kind of interesting to ask as well as we'll talk a little bit about how things like driving for uh, you know conjoined twins and all that stuff goes and the main reason that I'm talking about this today is because if you've been on Twitter you might have seen that Abby uh, and Brittany Hensel yes Hensel uh, are conjoined twins that had a TLC show and now uh, it looks like Brittany has officially been married and it happened I believe back in 2023 however it was officially announced a little bit more recently and there was also even like a video posted of the happy couple dancing at their wedding uh, you know good for them i do want to say like this video is not at all meant to shit on anybody with like a disability or a deformity or anything like that okay if you are making fun of like these people if you are like going into the comments and like saying that this is like gross or weird or something like that just to whip those bitches and show them who's boss then like the problem is you and you should really just kind of look at yourself in the mirror and see why other people's joy makes you so miserable just because they're different uh and then we can just kind of go from there but that will be like a one-on-one -on -one. if you want some emotional support you can go ahead and like reach out and i got you Otherwise, let's go ahead for the rest of us and move on here with this discussion. So basically, as I mentioned, um, you know, Abby and Brittany did have a TLC show. So So a lot of their lives have been kind of discussed openly, which is why some people were surprised that when their wedding did happen, that it wasn't like kind of more publicized at the time. Although I'm guessing that the twins, because they've had such a publicized life, they really just wanted to take a step back from the limelight and just enjoy their time with their romantic partner. And then also, I think that there might be like very much a worry when you are somebody who has a little bit of like, you know, you're a D-list celebrity maybe, but on top of that, you do have, you know, some type of deformity and stuff like that. So maybe, you know, you're not as easily able to obtain a partner or something along those lines. That makes it so that like really bad actors can come in and try to utilize that kind of weakness and then use it to their advantage and gain fame or notoriety or anything off of it. So I can also understand, like, even if, like, you know, hey, maybe it wasn't necessarily just about it being personal. It can be about, hey, they wanted to make sure that their partner wasn't, like, using them for some way or, or, or in some way or something. Now, again, I'm not saying that that's what happened, but that is something that I'm sure has to be thought about when you're that type of person in this type of, you know, situation. Um, you know, on top of that, the main question that most people are asking, obviously, is how does that marriage work? Because it's stated, I believe, that Brittany got married to the the uh, the man here. I, I did not read his name. I probably should have. Jason, if you can, if you have his name, pop it up. Uh, but either way, uh, uh, so 
the main thing obviously is yeah people are asking how does that relationship work and on top of that how does the sexual interactions work like does the the do they share a set of genitals do they have separate genitals if they do share the genitals do they have like orgasms at the same time you know if they do all these various things like does he like you know maybe like kiss only one of them and you know even though like the other one maybe does feel an orgasm do they only kiss one of them like these are all kind of i think kind of valid questions that are interesting to ask uh and so we're going to kind of try to look into that obviously Obviously, it's going to be a little bit difficult to do, and we'll talk about why later. But, uh, you know, for the most part, let's start specifically with how these conjoined twins kind of, you know, happen. And then we both steer. So basically, what will happen is there are something called, and I'm going to get this wrong, but misogynous ma uh, twins or something like that. And this means that they're from the same ovum, and therefore, they are also going to be, uh, you know, uh, identical twins is what we call them. The other option is you have i think diegetic or di dia dia diazygonic oh god damn it i have to look up the thing now that's what i'm gonna say okay dia diazygotic diazygotic and if that's not it and if you're some type of like phd doctor of, of anatomy then you can fucking suck my dick i'm in law okay i am the law i'm trying anyway uh, so basically, uh, you know, when they do have fraternal twins, they are, uh, you know, die diazygotic and therefore they you know i believe means they come from separate ovums right so i was correct okay great that's fantastic i'm glad so yeah so basically fraternal or dizygotic twins have two separate eggs or ova where if it is a uh you know d identical twins they have the same and they're from the same egg so obviously if they're in the same egg there can be some strange things that occur when they start to grow within the womb where they can conjoin now sometimes these conjoinments can be of like very you know uh, much more slight things than others you know for example there was one pair of male twins that did have entirely separate bodies almost except for they were connected by like some skin and their kidneys uh, and then you have people such as Brittany and Abby who basically were completely conjoined and the only thing that was separate well seemingly is their heads if my stomach hurts it hurts right here and I can't feel this like I can't feel anything but my stomach hurts right there and Brittany's stomach hurts here and she can't feel that and so seemingly they share one body and they just have two heads however when we do look at their actual physical makeup it appears that Abby and Brittany actually do share two sets of pretty much everything above uh, the waist and everything below the waist is just shared you know as one so basically they do have two sets of hearts lungs uh, you know they have three kidneys I don't know why they don't have four I mean that's a little weird that they have like 1.5 times the kidneys uh, and so essentially they they have double of those things however then when you get down to the the genital area uh they share the same genital uh genitals and they have the, only the two legs so essentially from what they say the way that they do things such as driving is they almost kind of instinctually work in coordination when we drive abby is in control of the gas and the brakes and then we both steer obviously and then i'm in charge of the clicker almost as if their body kind of works together in a in a simultaneous way like knowing what both sisters and each sides are going to do and then it works together in a really fascinating way so much so that they can drive decently and they can play piano very well and, and various other like normal things that you know normal kids could do when they you know were growing up and so for the most part the they do act just as one where again like i said you did have like other twins that are much more like separated uh you know however when it comes to abby and Brittany, as i mentioned they do have the same genitals so then the question is how does the sexual relationship work well seemingly if you do have the same set of genitals obviously it's going to be hard to ignore that because as long as the body can be felt by both sides then you are going to have some type of experience now no 
conjoined twins have actually outright said how sex feels. And of course, it's an awkward conversation. Most people don't want to come out and talk about their sexual experiences or how they do things. And especially when you're already very forthcoming about like some type of disability or other thing and you have to be talking about your body and, and have people look at your body and see these things all the time, then it, it, there are pieces of it that you want to keep private. And I, I can fully understand that. So obviously it makes sense that they wouldn't say anything. However, we can kind of conceptualize how it might work from certain degrees. So for example, when it comes to Abby and Brittany, since they do share the same set of genitals, they likely would both feel some sort of sensation. And then, uh, you know, the question is, is just how much of a sensation do they feel at the same time? On top of that, because their body does, you know, still have, it's all set in one body. My guess is that some of the hormones still seemingly will make their way up to the brain on both ends and overall probably will produce like you know some dopamine and things like that for both sides of the body now the question then is though will they each have say an orgasm at the same time now this is the question that i think is is a, is pretty fascinating but it is much harder to answer because for example if one person has significantly less feeling there then it's possible that they might not hit that orgasm spot as soon as the other person because you know having an orgasm is something that is very unique to each individual and can take so many different factors to combine together to actually cause that orgasm and so it's very possible that one could orgasm while the other does feel good but might not quite come so i think that that's all kind of fascinating however when we look at other types of twins cheng and ang bunker okay so basically uh cheng and ang bunker lived from 1829 to 1870 and they were two male conjoined twins and i mentioned them earlier so yeah they do pretty much have two separate bodies except um it looks like they only do have two arms um i think they have four legs it looks like so yeah it does look like they have pretty separate bodies except for certain parts of it and so these individuals these two uh you know men had separate marriages and separate families one had 10 kids the other had 12 and they had separate wives so obviously that would make for a pretty awkward interaction where you're going to have to uh you know like try to ignore what's going on next to you i suppose while your you know other person is having sex hey you guys are stuck together and i still love it here we're like one big happy fam or i guess you could try to like work work together with the other like like so basically like let's say one half is gonna have sex with their wife like you're gonna be like hey you need to call your wife up to slide through so you can have sex at the same time that way it's not awkward for us like maybe that's what they do i have no idea and maybe that's why they so maybe they both have so many kids that would make so much sense i i have no idea for certain uh however my guess is that might be the, the case so obviously with them since their bodies were so separate they did have separate relationships however when we look at you know uh abby and Brittany, what we see is that uh they did initially seemingly have kind of this marriage just between Brittany and the husband but then they went and uh uh, both ended up are are seemingly in a relationship with the man now and that would make the most sense like when your bodies are much more just one then that is going to make sense that your life would have to be kind of more just one rather than having two separate bodies and then being able to kind of keep your lives separate to a certain degree that that all it all makes sense to me at least in my head i don't know let me know if it makes sense to you guys i think this is definitely really interesting also seemingly um you know since like uh the the male conjoined twins chang and ang were so separate my guess is that they did not feel much sensation from the other half of the body and so therefore they probably and you know they might have felt some sensation but they i'm guessing they didn't like when one shoots off a load the other load probably is not going to shoot off right away like i'm guessing like that doesn't happen like if one spout happens and the other one's going to spout i don't think so i think probably like you'd have to get them both going or like one will you know you know you just the other one just won't even be doing nothing the other one will be going and he'll just be chilling like reading a book i don't know i don't know it's an awkward topic of conversation i get it 
I hope that anybody here is not squeamish today, etc. If you guys uh, don't mind these topics, then hey, subscribe. Because basically one thing that we have been doing here for a while is just random movie reviews and stuff like that. And we're going to keep doing that. But the channel is smoking sessions. So we uh, want to try to move towards like what this channel was initially going to be and, you know, move it towards more like adult based content a little bit. Talk about more mature topics as well as, you know, try to take it from kind of like a stoner perspective at times or maybe like talk about drugs and shit like that and culture and all that in, in uh, you know, more interesting and mature ways. So that's the idea at the moment. And, uh, you know, this is kind of one of the first videos in the process of getting there. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about this video. If you enjoyed it, press that like and subscribe button uh, for more content like this in the future. Besides that, you can let us know what else you'd like us to do uh, going forward. And we'll see you all in the next one, guys. Too far, then my head goes under If we take it as it is, then there ain't no wonder It's hard to imagine that just one little blunder It created a whole universe